to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I eat in a day for breastfeeding as well as just being healthy all around during postpartum. I am now six months postpartum. My baby is now six months old. I cannot believe it. This has been the fastest six months of my entire life. Honestly, when they tell you that it goes by quickly, believe them because it really does. When I started breastfeeding, I really found out that I needed to have a certain diet especially because whatever you eat literally goes to your baby. So obviously you don't have to eat healthy all the time, but it is important to eat certain foods and get certain vitamins so that those transfer to your baby. With that being said, I am starting out the video in the morning and I am going to show you guys what I eat for breakfast. It is now eight o'clock in the morning. Today, I'm going to be making a lactation oatmeal. This is super quick and easy. You literally just throw a bunch of ingredients into a pot, let it cook for about 10 minutes, and then you're done. Oatmeal is really, really important for breastfeeding. Oats are high in fiber, iron, and protein, and they're really good for boosting your milk supply as well. But those three things are really important for your baby to get, especially iron. This recipe has oatmeal, bananas, cinnamon, all that really good stuff. I find that if oatmeal is really bland, I have a really hard time eating it. So this one is super flavorful and really good. Today, I am going to be making enough for two people because given what's going on right now, my husband is working from home. So everything I make today is going to be in two portion sizing just because he's here. So you can either make enough to have leftovers, make it for somebody else, or you can just take the recipes I give you and cut them in half if you're just eating it by yourself. With that being said, I do want to quickly come on here and address the coronavirus since I haven't talked about it on my channel yet. Obviously, I am fully aware of what is going on in the world. My family has chosen to stay home and stay safe, especially because my baby is six months old. I definitely am feeling a little paranoid and anxious about everything going on and I want to protect her, but I also want to stop the spread of everything so that hopefully this can be over soon. But given what's going on, um, it has gotten a little bit worse and worse every day. And here in California, everything is locked down, restaurants, bars, all of that is closed. Right now, a lot of things that are on shortage, obviously being fresh produce, it's really hard to find fresh produce right now and eggs and stuff like that. So I did have to tweak a couple things and there were some things that I wasn't able to get to put in this video and that's okay, it's real life. I'm not gonna wait to film this until this is over because I don't know what it's gonna be over and I still wanna get this video out to you guys. So with that being said, we're just gonna work with what we have and be grateful that we have what we have. So let's just go ahead and jump into today's breakfast. you guys so it is later in the morning it is about 10 o'clock right now so I'm gonna go ahead and make my morning smoothie and I also want to quickly show you guys like some of the lactation products that I use my number one main product that I love for helping with lactation and just overall like my vitamins and stuff um, if you are breastfeeding it is still really important that you take your prenatal because again 
everything that you eat and put into your body, your baby is getting as well. So for vitamins and lactation, I have been taking a lactation supplement. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen this. This is from Nurture, it is called New Mama. This is a postnatal vitamin and botanical supplement. This is awesome in so many different ways. I noticed a huge difference when I started taking this. So what you do is you take one of these once a day. They're just in little packets like this. You just mix this in water. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Mine is empty for the day. I have like a sip left, but this is from them as well. This is their water bottle. So I'll just go ahead and fill this all the way up with water, add this, shake it, and then drink this. I usually try to drink this like around mid-morning, so now at this time. This little packet does so much. It has all of the prenatal and postnatal vitamins that you need to be taking. Like I said, it also helps with your lactation. And another thing that it really helps with that I notice a huge difference in is sleep, which is so weird. But when I started taking this, I actually started sleeping so well and I woke up feeling so rested as well as just having a lot of energy throughout the day as well. So overall, I love this product. I will have it linked for you guys down below. If you are breastfeeding or going through postpartum, I would highly recommend taking this. Then the next two products that I'm going to talk about again are to do with lactation. One that you'll probably see a lot of is mother's milk tea. I just stocked up on these, believe it or not, they are sold out of this in every single grocery store. I had to order like a huge three pack on Amazon and now I seriously have like a life supply of this. But this stuff is awesome. I've been taking this since probably two weeks postpartum. My mom took this when she was breastfeeding and she recommended it to me but this is awesome. I will usually take this at night right before bed. And if I remember, sometimes I'll take it in the morning too. It just kind of depends on what I'm eating and drinking throughout the day. Another really random drink that I actually found on Pinterest to boost your milk supply is body armor drinks. And I honestly had never heard of these before. They're definitely in like every single grocery store. They have them at Target. And I honestly noticed a difference when I started drinking these. They're really good at keeping you hydrated and obviously when you're really hydrated and drinking lots of water, your milk supply is going to reflect that. So these are super awesome. They taste really good and honestly, they work. So if you see any of these on Pinterest, it works, trust me. So now that all of that is out of the way, let's just go ahead and make my smoothie for the day. I do make lactation smoothies. So I'll kind of put ingredients in there that are good for your milk supply. Again, oats, a really big thing that's good for your milk supply, and then flax seeds as well. So what I like to do is actually grind both of those up first because I'm really weird and I don't like my smoothies to have a lot of texture, especially seeds. It just, I'm really picky. So I will grind those up first and then add them into my smoothie. But let's just go ahead and jump into it and I will show you how I make that. now 12 30 i'm gonna go ahead and make lunch so today's lunch is going to be basically just a buddha bowl um these are so customizable you can add and take out any of the ingredients and substitute with different things i personally just love throwing stuff into a bowl it's just super easy i'm getting all of my things that i need and then topping it off with some sort of dressing or sauce i just think is so good so this one is one of my favorites. So today, like I said earlier in this video, I'm going to be making two portions because my husband is working from home. So again, you can take this recipe and cut it in half, or if you want leftovers for the next day, that works as well. So let's go ahead and jump into how I make my bowls.
All right, guys, so it is now later in the afternoon. It is too early to make dinner, but I find that sometimes in the afternoon, I tend to get a little bit hungry before dinner. So I wanted to share some of the healthy snacks and stuff that I like to eat. I am a huge like chip or salty person. I don't have the biggest sweet tooth. I did when I was pregnant, but not anymore. So when it comes to snacks, I really like salty things like either chips and hummus, chips and salsa, potato chips, any chips really, but those aren't always the best for you. So I like to use healthy options. One of the tortilla chips that I usually buy, I literally finished the bag yesterday, so I don't have it to show you, but I like to go for tortilla chips that have things like flax seeds in them. Uh, they taste really good still, and they have different things like quinoa, flax seeds, and that's all really good for your milk supply and just a healthy alternative to a normal tortilla chip. One thing that I have is just um, chickpeas. These just have sea salt. These are a really good source of protein and they taste really good. And instead of eating like potato chips or anything like that, you can also go for kale chips. And these are really good. I'm picky when it comes to kale sometimes but these are really, really good. I believe both of these are from Whole Foods, but they are super good. And if you want a salty snack, but you want to be healthy, these are the perfect option. And when it comes to granola bars, sometimes I'll just grab a granola bar if I need a snack. These are my favorite granola bars. I am one of those people that I don't get super like particular about it, but when I look at things and check the ingredients, I like the least amount of ingredients possible, especially all those words that you can't understand. It's not necessarily a good thing. So when I'm eating something, I literally want it to be exactly what I'm eating and no extra additives. So the thing that I love about these is it literally tells you what's in here. So there are three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and no BS. So it makes you feel good about what you're eating. These are really good. Um, I usually keep one of these in my diaper bag as well on the go. It is the perfect snack to grab. It is almost dinner time. I wanted to quickly share with you guys about what I usually make for dinner. So when it comes to dinner, I, for some reason, get like overwhelmed and stressed out by dinners. I don't know why. For me, it's just really easy to make breakfast and lunch, but dinners, I feel like it takes a lot more like time and effort. So in our home, we use HelloFresh. We have been using HelloFresh for, I think it's honestly been over a year now, which is crazy. This was my favorite subscription when I was pregnant because I was working full time and I was exhausted. And when I would get home, you know, being pregnant, you have pregnancy cravings and it's just so easy to kind of like stop and pick up food on the way home, which is not always necessarily healthy. Chick-fil-A, for instance, I had a major Chick-fil-A craving and I seriously could have probably eaten Chick-fil-A every single night for dinner, but that's not the best for you or your baby. So I decided to go with HelloFresh, which was so perfect. It made coming home and cooking dinner so much easier and actually enjoyable. Now that we have our baby, it's even easier because sometimes it's so hard to find time to get in the kitchen and cook, especially when you have to go to the grocery store and you know buy all the ingredients and have them all measured out and all that. It's just so much work, honestly. I don't know, maybe I sound lazy, but HelloFresh is so easy and really affordable as well. In the midst of everything going on, I'm still able to get fresh ingredients and not have to stress about making dinners and not having certain groceries right now, which is honestly such a relief. So when the box arrives, I will make sure to show you guys what is inside of it and then what we are making for dinner tonight. All right, you guys, so it is now time for dinner. My HelloFresh order just arrived a couple minutes ago. I was gonna do an unboxing with you guys, but my husband actually unboxed it and put everything away, which was actually really nice of him. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I decided to cook for dinner tonight. So tonight we are going to be doing a balsamic chicken and some roasted Brussels sprouts and garlic bread. It sounds super good and really good and healthy as well. I wanted to show you guys how HelloFresh packages everything because I love it. It's so simple and easy. So all of their meat is packed separately and it's just individual portions like this. So this is for the chicken tonight. For each meal, they put all the ingredients into different bags so it's all organized for you. So this one is for the balsamic chicken. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys what is inside. So we have our Brussels sprouts. And the thing that I love about this so much is they put like triple washed on there. So you just feel good knowing that they washed it three times <laughs> before they gave it to you. So some of their ingredients, they do want you to wash, but then some of them like the broccoli, Brussels sprouts, like cauliflower and stuff like that, it'll already be pre-washed for you. So you don't have to worry about that. And then we got some fresh farm grown rosemary. We have our baguette for the garlic bread. And this is their chicken stock. So they measure it out perfectly for you, which is so nice. And then we have our cloves of garlic. And then stuff like this just makes me so happy. So this is like a little tiny thing of balsamic vinegar. I love when they put like the little bottles. I think they're so cute. So that is what we're making for dinner. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started cooking that. And I will show you guys. I'm not gonna walk you through like every single step because this isn't my recipe, it's HelloFresh's recipe. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys like how I'm cooking some of the stuff and then the finished product. But if you guys have been thinking about using HelloFresh, I definitely would check them out, especially at a time like this when it's kind of... Sorry, Harper has been doing this new thing where she literally sounds like she's like a velociraptor. <laughs> So this video isn't sponsored by HelloFresh or anything like that, but if you guys have been thinking about using them and you weren't sure, um, I would definitely recommend trying them out. All of their portions are measured out for you, so it's super easy. All of their meals take like around on average, I would say about 30 minutes to make. They do have like easier ones where you could literally just like pop them in the oven, which is really convenient. Or if you're like me and you actually really enjoy cooking and spending time in the kitchen, you can opt to do the ones that are like a little bit harder and like a little bit more challenging and I find that really fun. So if you guys are thinking about checking them out, I definitely would, especially in a time like this where it's like really stressful and hard to get groceries to plan out dinner. This honestly has been so helpful for our family, so I'm really grateful that we have been getting these. But I will have a link in the description box to their website if you want to check them out. I know there's like tons of codes and everything out there for you. Um, I don't have one. I'm not sponsored by them, but I just really, really love their products and enjoy them and definitely recommend it to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put her down so I can get cooking. you guys so that is going to conclude it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed and found any of these recipes useful if you are breastfeeding and are looking for ways to increase your milk supply or just kind of tweak your diet and add some more healthy things in i definitely recommend trying some of these things out if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and then also if you are new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you guys want to get notified every time i post a new video make sure to turn on your notifications with all that being said i will talk to you guys in my next video bye